Good morning, it's Maria Lane. Uh, my apologies, I can't do another Facebook Live today. I'll see how I go over the weekend. But in the meantime, I've got up extra early to record a new moon message for you. So there's a new moon today on the 28th of September. And I thought I'd call upon these cards to see what the universe would like you to know if you're watching this video. Now remember, everything is not chance, it's synchronicity. Oh, here we go. <laughs> And this one just straight off the bat. So we're being guided under this new moon energy to find balance. You know, so, well, Libra, awesome. Um, you know, the scales, get that equilibrium happening. Focus on your own personal energies and bring yourself into balance. Because when you are humming, in fact, just before I came on here, I was looking up some of the chakras because there's a strong likelihood um, that one of the chakra cards is going to appear. Let's see. <laughs> I, I seem to confuse the sacral and the solar plexus chakra for whatever reason. So I thought I'd be prepared just in case. I, I put the root and the heart and all the other chakras, but those two because they're possibly similar in color and meaning. Um, but anyway, and it was talking about getting the chakras in balance. So maybe there's another message within that. Bonnie, this little girl of mine, <laughs> this little fur girl of mine, she is so, what's the word I'm looking for? She's gorgeous, she's absolutely gorgeous, but she makes so much noise during the videos, but I don't want to lock her out, you know, she's part of the fam, there she is. Okay, so back to the message. So balance, get everything in, get yourself into balance, not everything in balance. Um, yourself into balance, stop juggling, and see if you can focus on possibly those two chakras, the solar and the, the sacral. Oh, this is a good one. Um, because there could be some financial and material changes for the better. For the better. Because, you know, when things are out of balance, we're putting the wrong message. I'll self-correct, I'll reframe. The message that we're putting out to the universe may not be clear. And often I explained earlier in the week about, you know, putting your focus on what you don't want and of course you'll manifest more of that. So if you're looking for some a change in your financial circumstances, think abundant. Think in terms of prosperity. Get yourself back into balance and see how things flow. Something I love to do. I love planning, you know, that's just who I am. Patience, not so much, so here we go. Um, patience and planning. So as the flow goes, you know, we're going to, you know, focus on, you know, getting ourselves into balance. Also put our focus on to, you know, our abundance. We are worthy. And start making some plans towards this. Create a... Um, Create a 30-month plan. Ooh, I've just got a good idea. <laughs> I've just finished 30 days of self-care, or well, almost. I'm about, I think we could do one on abundance. Who wants to join me for October, 30 days of abundance? Good idea, Mary Elaine. Thank you, universe. Um, perfect timing. So we can plan, but, you know, we have to be patient. You know, not noticing what we don't have yet. It will come. And here we go. <laughs> All power to you, girls and boys. All power to you. So we control our destiny. Nobody else. It's all up to us. And with awareness, here comes that A word again, um, it can make us or break us. You know, awareness is what we want because then we will have the power to control our destiny and what unfolds. Okay, I will leave that there. So... Okay, cool. Thanks for the inspiration, Universe. 30 days of abundance coming up in October. And, you know, just enjoy this new beginning, this new gateway. Every month we get an opportunity to do this. So thank you again. All right, have a beautiful day. And apologies for not being around for the Facebook Live, but I hope this fills the gaps. <laughs> Bye for now.